All right, Shalom, this is part three, and we're going to try to wrap this part up as a basic teaching on, on Rastafari, the black Christ, and, and color blindness. Is there healing for color blindness? Can color blindness be healed? The scriptures teach more light. And this is, a, this, is, this is the crux, the cross, the foundation of Rastafari. When we talk about more light, you see, there is, a, there is a divine heritage, somewhat coded, but can be decoded through the study of the scriptures as our Godfather, Abba Kedus, 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 as His Majesty teaches I and I. Right? And we're going through an a exercise and, and based on the meditations that we have gone through in certain areas of the scripture and sharing this with those of you who are able to receive it. Because it's about, once again, those principles, and we touched on it in an earlier, earlier vid, right? In the earlier vid that we, that we did, and the name of that video was actually on Ephesians. I think we wrote it down here because as we teach, we so have to do, right? As we preach, so we have to do. Is since I'm just writing these notes down, I think the working title is Rastafari Yad and Black Christ Liberty based on Ephesians 5.15. Because we noticed that when we read Ephesians 5.15, we did an earlier teaching on Tawahido and the Trinity. And we, that was based on the five mysteries, the Ethiopian... Uh, Five Pillars of Mystery, Mr. Almada Mistir, and in those five pillars of mystery, the first mystery that is taught to the newcomer is the mystery of the Trinity. And based on our studies, um, the scriptural studies, and, and in the Schofield Reference Bible study, the footnote, we're talking about man is a Trinity. And then meditating on that and remembering Genesis that man was made in the image and after the likeness. Now, if you understand the true biblical and the Rastafari, the Ethiopic hermeneutics, the image is the father and after the likeness is the son. So when we look at the word likeness, it's the misale, it's the proverbs, and through the proverbs of the Moshiach. You know, some say the Bible is just proverbs or parables or metaphors or similes. Yes. That is true. That's the word. And when we live the, the, the good over evil is the manifestation of the righteousness of the Proverbs. So therefore the word or the mythos become actual. So this is like from, from the myth, how the myth becomes real and actionable. Now some would tell you that myth is myth and not real and never could be real. Well, it's like people say that there's nothing perfect because they don't practice. They don't, they don't follow what they even have said. Practice makes perfect, right? But that is, that's part of the light shining in darkness and the darkness or the ignorance that is in man, in humanity, because the fall of the black man. You see, the, this fall of the black man has affected also white folks has affected Europeans and white people, too, and other nations, too, the fall of the black man. So to whom more is given, brothers and sisters, more is required. So once again, 515, right, 515, last time we read this, we actually read it just from the, just from the recovery Bible, which is a, a higher level of study that we put, we place one step after the, the Schofield Reference Bible. In other words, so we can study it in stages and in degrees. You understand? Because if you try to, if you try to eat too much all at one time, it's like gluttony. You understand? And gluttony is one of the things that Abba, that Abba um, hates. All right, so we have 515 that says, See then that ye walk, or that ye yard, that ye trod circumspectly. So we understand the cipher. And we have our compass and square, as it were, but spiritually, not after any of the counterfeit, worldly um, 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 counterfeits, right, of the true way. Because all Satan has, has done, all the enemy has done is taken John's thing and turned them upside down, right? Turn it, you know, turn it outside down, uh, 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 upside down and all of that. So it says, not as fools, but as wise. That's right before verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So if we take this in order, and we're just giving a highlight right here, it's not just to take that one verse, but to see to study the full context of the chapter, the full context of the book, you know, the full context of the Testament, the full context of the Bible. 
right? So, so, so the Bible is often been said to be our compass, right? And and Yeshua and Christos, even the Christ within, is now becomes that that um that square. You understand how we square ourselves and measure ourselves according to that that full, that complete cipher, that 360 degrees of the Word of God in spirit and in truth, right? So we, we touched on this verse right there because when we were reading in the recovery, um, the recovery, New Testament recovery version, just show you this again right here. And you can actually download this from Bibles for America, right, the New Testament recovery version, and they, they have it free. You understand it's free, so we definitely would advise you get a copy of it, a copy of it, and those who can help those brothers and sisters, right? Those brothers and sisters, um, pray for them. They're, they're Gentiles, but they are brothers and sisters in Christos on that level of Christian, uh, based on the teaching of His Majesty, based on Abba's teaching to we. So it says here in the footnote to live by being filled in spirit. So we, as Rastafari, would say the liberty. Right, the liberty is by being filled in the irate or the manifest, the ruach. And this is the fifth aspect. There are. It's, this goes through the, the the recovery Bible version is based on the triune God and that overstanding of the true tri triunity or what's called the Trinity, what we know as salase, salus kedus. Right, and it's very important that we understand that because man, not if, but as man is a Trinity. Right? As man is a trinity, because here's the proof of it. We have spirit, soul, and body, and they all occupy one space. Now, science has now, or the Gentile um, version of science, the European and the Gentile version of science, has had to upgrade itself. And the more it seems to be discovering real truths, the more the book of life is being opened up, if you, if you check that out. Right? The more the book of life is being opened up, if you if you're able to do the proper hermeneutics, that means interpretation of Turgum or the Targum of it. So to live by being filled in irit, the true irit, we would say like Ja vibes, the, the the vibration, the 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 vibration, right? The vibration is the fifth aspect of a walk. The walk is the yad, the trod, and you said the trod of Rastafari, that is worthy of Jah's calling, or of God's calling. Now, listen, Simma, Simma, the first four aspects, now four is the number of, of the cross, four is the number of a circle, a circle and a square spiritually is the same. But in the body, in the worldly sense, it's different. See, see, even that can teach you something as well. If you look at it mathematically, a circle and a square is equal because of 360 degrees. But in the outer aspect, in other words, in appearance, the way it looks, it looks different. You see, so that's, that's an important, um, not consideration, but an important principle to understand. But the first four aspects, which is our carrying that cross in a daily liberty of a worthy walk of a akahed or the halakha, Hebraically speaking, or the trod or the yad, rastafari speaking, are keeping, is the first is keeping the oneness. So Aina is Rastafari, we speak about that what? That oneness, right? Keeping the oneness. Secondarily, it's growing up into the head, and the Ethiopic word for head is Ras, Rastafari. The third is learning Christos, learning Christ, thus the teaching of his majesty based on our own roots, from our Ethiopic, the Tawahido, the Ritta, the Ritta Ihaimenot, the Ritu, the Ritua Haimenot, the Ritta Itami, or what we call our Orthodox. I'm talking about the teachings, brothers and sisters, right? And fourthly is living in love and light. And this is a popular, a main refrain of Ainai's Rastafari. Every true Rastafari know that Ainai. We, 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 we speak of, but we also to actually speak of to encourage the, the living and the liberty, right, of love and light among I and I. Because if we don't have it among I and I, what more can we show to anyone else? So first judgment must come to I and I, the house of Rastafari. So each of us, you understand, have to look at the scripture as looking in a mirror. 
right? So the issue of having these four aspects of a worthy, a worthy or a proper walk is that we, I and I, me and you, in other words, are spontaneously filled in our spirit, in I and I, irit, bemen fasachim, out of this inward filling. See, this is here with the tawahido, right? Even the gnosticoi or the gnosis, not the pseudonymous, but the gnosis, not science falsely so-called, but the true knowledge. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Out of this inward filling will come the submission, right? The submission. What is submission? It's us, us being under and within the true will of our Father, of Abba. Will come the love. Will come the obedience. Will come the care and not the carelessness. And all the other virtues, and virtue is a higher Virtue is a power, according to um, His Majesty's Bible, the Amharic Bible, the Book of the Seven Seals. Virtue is a power of a proper Christian, and Christ means anointed, a proper anointed life. And where is one anointed? In the Ras. Thus, of a proper Rastafari Hewet, that's the first, the church life, churchical, I and I as a church, we may say Bingi. You understand, Bobo Shanti, but it's the bingi, the church, the true churchical foundation, the family life, I and I, nuclear family, so we have that power at the core, and community, our common unity life, bringing together every other aspect. See, a lot of folks think like, well, we need to get money so we can do this and that. Yes, all those things are necessary, but we need to put things in their proper order according to the teaching, give I and I the teaching of his magic card. We now want no devil philosophy or other ways. We need to first and foremost know and learn John's way. And then as it says, what a life we have, what a life and a liberty I and I have when I and I, they say demonstrate, we say manifest, when that word becomes manifest in I and I, man, I, man, right? manifest the five aspects, the five aspects of a walk, a trod, a yod, a yod, that is worthy, of Jah's calling. So it says Jah is calling I and I. But now, now that we answer that call as Rastafari, how do we become worthy? Not to... not not horizontally to another brother in our sister in, but first and foremostly in a clear and a good conscience, right, to our Godfather, to Kedamari Hala Selassie, to Abba Kedus, based on his teaching for I and I part, I and I glory in the Bible. So we connect this particular aspect as well because we can see even light is very, very important, right, because... Christ says that I am the light, and while we have the light, we walk in the light. Because if you don't walk in the light, you stumble in the darkness. You stumble in ignorance, right? So just to continue this in Romans, so we finish up this particular uh, mini-series right here. It says, uh, we go to verse 19. Right, verse 19. It says, because that which may be known of God is manifest, the manifestation is manifest in them. For God, for Ha Elohim, or Jah, if you please, have shewed it to them. So it's manifest in them, and we connect this in the previous portion with the melanin, the black dot, or the God particle. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. So the invisible things, that black dot or the God particle is even physically seen even through the melanin and thus the black, right, or the true blackness, right? We're speaking of spiritual things here, eritical things. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood or we say overstood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, even his eternal power and Godhead, and get this part right here. It says, so that they are without excuse. So once again, we'll sum up on this question. For the black Christ and the black Messiah, 
right, that those who have a color blindness or biasness, is there any healing? The only healing is more light. And the only light and the true light is our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in spirit and in truth, according to the word and according to the evidence. Shalom, Ras, Tafari. This is Wendem Yadon. This is Ras Iadonis reporting for the Line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. Shalom.